Hello, Aaron here from My Turbo Reviews. I'm continuing Rodimus Week with a look at Transformers Generation 1 Rodimus Prime. In 1986, the same year that the G1 Hot Rod figure came out, he immediately received an upgrade of sorts. After the death of Optimus Prime in the Transformers the movie, the Autobot Matrix of Leadership transforms Hot Rod into Rodimus Prime. The figure that Hasbro came up with to represent the new Autobot leader is... less than stellar. Let's take a look. Rodimus Prime's alt mode has been described as a Space Winnebago, and clearly it earns that description. It's basically an upgrade of Hot Rod's alt mode, incorporating the idea of a Prime having a trailer. In keeping with Hot Rod's futuristic look, the cab and the trailer are more or less one complete piece. He keeps Hot Rod's flame detail on the vehicle hood, as well as the chrome exhaust pipes. While this alt mode isn't quite up to par when compared to Hot Rod's, it's decent enough and scores a 7. Rodimus Prime's transformation is very simple, especially the main robot. There's really not much to it, and really not much need for an instruction sheet. Transformation gets a 6.5. Rodimus Prime is very tall in his robot mode, but most of his height is in his legs. His head sculpt, especially the face, looks like a more mature version of the one we got with the Hot Rod figure. He also sports a yellow fin on his back, similar to Hot Rod's. Robot mode looks okay, if a bit thin and lanky. Even with his rifle, he doesn't quite look like the leader of the Autobots he's supposed to be. Robot mode gets a 6.5. Rodimus Prime's articulation consists of shoulder rotation in the arms, and that's it. His articulation is about on par with G1 Hot Rod, although I think Rodimus Prime fares slightly better, but really, it's not by much. Articulation gets a 6. Rodimus Prime comes with an interesting gimmick. His trailer portion converts to a battle platform. I sort of had to rethink what I consider to be a gimmick with this figure, as the trailer is too much to be thought of as just an accessory. Rodimus Prime can ride the platform as a chariot and interact with its cannon emplacement. It's a clever way to utilize the trailer, and as a gimmick, it gets a 6.5. Overall, Rodimus Prime scores a 6.5. His alt mode is quirky in that Generation 1 sort of way, with a transformation that's super simple. Robot mode is basically a tall skinny brick with almost no articulation. He does have a decent gimmick, but only just. Moderately recommended. As a fan of Generation 1, I can't help but feel a little disappointed in Rodimus Prime. Many trans fans consider him to be the worst of the G1 figures, and while I disagree, I will admit he is among the worst. As a Generation 1 figure, he does command a hefty price on the secondary market, especially with all his stickers intact. And, for what you get for your money, fans who grew up with the later Transformers lines that have better articulation might not think him worth the price. And you know, I really couldn't blame them. Lucky I got mine back in 1987 as a gift. And even then I think I might have paid too much. That's all folks, but please, stick around for more Rodimus Week.